Let's have a look. It's in a book? Reading Rainbow? Okay. Notice. Scheduled maintenance lighting system. All inmates should be aware that at some point this afternoon, Friday, scheduled maintenance will be carried out on the cell lighting controls. Inmates will notice the lights flickering, and in some cases, switching off entirely. Do not submit a more ticket unless there is a prolonged issue, flickering or loss of light exceeding one hour. No other systems should be affected. Attention cleaning service! We are currently trailing a manual cleaning service in which eligible prisoners will be provided with cleaning products in their cells. Should you be selected for this trial, you'll receive a message via email. Oh, hooray! We can do our own cleaning. <laughs> and submit a ticket! Let's hope they actually bother to read this. Here it goes! Oh, he's typing for me. <laughs> okay. Hello, fellas. The shower doesn't seem to be getting any hot water. I realize you're probably aware of this. No doubt numerous people have complained already. Or maybe it's just my cell. Either way, the temperature control for the shower seems to be in on the blink. And it'd be great if you could fix that. Hi, Alice! Sorry for talking... for taking up your time. Hope everything is well down there. There, that should do it. Always pays to be polite. If they care about that, I suppose. Bard door, let's go talk to... And no, there's no point in even trying to get these bars up, especially when they're... Go talk to Alice then. I'll be able to reach... Alice then. Ow, that hurt. That was a lot of face palm. <laughs> so I submitted that support ticket. That's good. I tested the water. You're right, it is freezing. Hopefully they'll sort it later. How's your breakfast? Is this the prison equivalent of talking about the weather? Maybe. Mind you talking about the weather hasn't offered much variety for years now. At least prison meals change somewhat. <laughs> True. I enjoyed it. Thanks. God, it's been so long since I've been able to have a proper conversation. Sorry if I'm a bit rusty. I've spent the last year talking to only a five-year-old. I'm sorry if a bit condescending. So, I've always wondered, you know, if all the cells are the same, just the same as mine, for example? I don't know. This is the only one I've seen. Well, bed, computer, TV are all on this wall. Bathroom's at the far end, and... Wait. What? You've got a TV in there? Yeah, do you not? No, just a radio. I thought you'd been listening to the radio this whole time. No, I was just watching television. I'm curious now. I'd quite like to see how the other half live, as it were. Hmm. Maybe there's a way to show you. TV! Turn it on! Channel 1! Captain! We've been on Phobos... Phobos... We've been on Phobos 5 minutes. What? Oh, they're on a planet. I was like, are they on a ship? Or what? Oh, well, I guess that still makes sense. Okay, English. Redo! Cut! Okay. We went on Phobos 5 minutes and we're already facing down a giant space lizard. Oh man, I left my giant space lizard slayer costume on the shop. Ship. Christ, old children's cartoons. This one's based on a smash hit video game. I don't suppose they'll make any of those anymore. Yone, your new cyber augments should be strong enough to reroute your internal power core and transmit a distress signal to mute. But Captain, it's a prototype. We haven't done any field testing. We have no choice. It's almost on us. Here it's pretty faithful to the source material. Makes a change. Mute, come in. Emergency. Sup, yo. <laughs> There's no time. Activate Project Bride. Bounty hunters and cyborg ninjas. Too far fetched for me. Almost makes me miss the sloths. Could try the other channels. Is this a sloth channel? Oh no, it's their channel. Of course. As one of the lucky prisoners chose to participate in the Typhoon Project, you may have many questions. But now you have no doubt been introduced to your cell, and discovered it's outfitted with the latest in prisoner comfort. But what of the history of this project? 
Ah, this old chestnut. I remember watching a mandatory showing of this when it was first got here. I wonder if Alice had to watch it too. The Typhoon Project was conceived by the genius minds at UGPT Research and will one day offer the finest and luxury underground accommodations across the globe. And I clicked out the game. God damn it, go me. As the weather outside worsens, the hardworking scientists and engineers at UGPT are busy constructing hundreds of typhoon units to house those affected by the adverse environmental conditions. Yeah, sure, those who are affected can afford to buy their way into it, of course. As a certain demographic of prisoner, you have been chosen to give back to society by being a part of the first pioneering test runs of the typhoon units. These units have been rigorously tested by UGPT engineers. Time Magazine has called them the safest place in the world right now. To be fair, that's not exactly hard. Your safety is paramount, which is why we've equipped each prisoner with your own personal external communication device. A computer with email capabilities. Definitely it's outfit with UGP to reason that uh, I don't like this part. It's just talking about where I am. A cool fresh start morning. A huge PT researcher like to take this opportunity to fuck you and wish you luck with your rehab. Blah, blah, blah. How very polite. Hmm. I can see what else is on. Sloths! Deep in the rainforest of Honduras lives this fascinating creature. Oh, do piss off. Let's see the TV for now. Uh, mostly empty plate. I've had enough. Small metal tray. I've got it. Great Scott. Get the photograph. Don't need that. Don't need that. It's fine where it is. It's fine where it is. Spare bedding and a spare sheet and duvet cover. I know about those now, kind of, because my girlfriend taught me about them. Because I don't know shit about duvet covers. Thank you, Allie. <laughs> That's right, you flush that toilet. All right. So I gotta use this metal tray somehow, I'm guessing. Uh, hmm. Can I use the tray? With Alice, let's see then. Seriously? Yeah, can you see anything? I can see, um, a black shape. That's the TV. And, um... This really isn't working, is it? Well, I guess not. How about if I hold it this way a bit more? Heh. <laughs> MTV Cribs behind bars. You can't see a thing, can you? Richard, I can barely even see you through these two sets of bars. Uh, well, I can see it's made you smile anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. So, that was the tour. Okay, let's do see what we can talk about today. The prison. I expected just waiting for you to, for your TV to arrive. Like I say, that was... So was partially collapsed up until recently. Isn't that a bit worrying? Oh no, I'm sure it's fine. I think they just had finished constructing it yet. Are these places even safe? The safest places in the world right now, apparently. That's not too hard to believe, actually. Do you know how far underground we are? Not a clue. The elevator ride down here seemed to last forever, though. I was pretty out of it, to be honest. Felt like it was over all too quickly, I'm taking. <sighs> They've got me taking piggies pills. To make me feel okay, I guess. Did they work? No, not exactly, anyway. I feel, I don't know, imprisoned. Join the club. There's something about this place. Isn't there something not right? I don't want to sound ungrateful. I know that as far as it goes, we're not lucky to be here. But being so deep underground, knowing what's going on topside, it's weird. It drove me crazy for the first few days. I was alone, though. You'll learn to stop thinking about it eventually. I hope so. The world outside. How are things up there? I mean, that's a stupid question, I'm sure. 
but it's been a while. Do you want to know the truth? Yes. Well, they're fucked. Things have gone to shit. I don't know exactly when you got here, or how much you know, but things are very, very bad. Snow hasn't stopped, I hear. Snow hasn't stopped. What has stopped is the government giving a damn about anyone outside of their little zones. Yeah, yeah, this is the issues before I got in. Oh, really? I thought you said he'd been here for years or something. No, not quite that long. It just feels that way sometimes. Did you come here from one of the zones then? Yeah, not that I'd been in there for long though. They let you in? I've heard stories about people being turned away. Yeah, after some persuasion. We should have been there already. We made enough for trade for a place. Just about. Then things went to shit. They stopped policing outside the zones entirely. We'll hope that any of us have then. What about you? Should have been too. All military families were meant to have a place. Guess it would have done had I not deserted. Oh god, so your wife and daughter are... No, no. They're safe. I hope. I got them in. Wouldn't have turned myself in if they weren't safe first. You just never know, though, you know? When you're away from your family, they're helpless. The zones could have collapsed. They could be dead for all I know. I'm sure they're fine. Things seem tense, but okay. Thank you. See, I guess you can imagine what it was like out there. Pretty much. Last I heard, volunteers were still patrolling the outside, keeping things as safe as possible. Yeah, that happens. But who watches the Watchmen, you know? I imagine it's easy to convince the zone folk that everything's okay outside the borders. They don't want to know about it. Huh. I've seen that criticism leveled at a lot of things lately. Ignorance is bliss. CRIME! So, a murderer and a deserter. Eh? It's like the start of some awful joke. Only neither of us are laughing. Quite. Ugh. So that's actually what you're in for then? Desertion? You never said yesterday. Well, that's what they say. So you're really a murderer then. Damn, you got me. Wow. You must have been unlucky. To get caught, I mean. These days. And... Sorry, this is all incredibly insensitive of me. It's just, you know, you don't seem like the murderous type. Neither do you. Why would I? Well, have you ever killed anyone? Absolutely! Yes, unfortunately. It's not so black and white, is it? Well, I was a soldier. I fought in wars. You know how it is. Does the uniform make that much difference when someone's staring down the barrel of your gun? You're still the one squeezing the trigger. It was. I never asked for this. They... Sorry, that was incredibly insensitive of me. No, you're right. I've done terrible things. But look at your world. Our world! Fuck! Look at the way we live. You spoke yesterday of moral relativity. Like you said, it's not so black and white anymore. Then we are both killers. But who's to say either of us is a murderer? Don't want to ask what happened in the basement? Yeah, I do. You know I do.